Hi, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another weekly tip video. I've started trying to get more use out of my iPad Pro because in recent times I've been using it almost solely as a media consumption device. Admittedly, a very good and powerful one, but I'm not using it to its full potential. I'm so used to using my MacBook Pro and the workflows that I've built up for file management that I tend to make assumptions that it's going to be a lot more difficult than it has to be on the iPad. I am, of course, wrong because there are lots of utilities that help you work more productively on iPad OS, and one such app is AnyBuffer. Now, AnyBuffer is what is known as a shelf utility application in that you can use it to store frequently used files and content, making them ready to paste or access in any application with the touch of a button. So, let me show you how to use it. Okay, so I've purchased and installed AnyBuffer already. Um, I haven't opened it on here as yet. It's £4.99. It does say there are in-app purchases, but all I've seen when I've used the app on a different device is a tip jar where you can make a voluntary donation to the developer, which is certainly fair enough in my opinion. So I'll open it now. And the first time we open it, we're presented with the main screen. We're straight in, no pop-ups or tips or anything. So let me show you around this main window as a whole before we dive into each area in a little more depth. So over here on the left, we have our different shelves in this sidebar here. So shelves are basically places where you can store content. Now at the moment, there is only one, which is called our inbox. And all new content that we put into any buffer is gonna be stored here. But over the next 10 or so minutes, we'll create new shelves here and start moving some content around. Then down here in the bottom left, we have a trash can, which will delete files. We have a plus button, which allows us to create a new shelf. There's a magnifying glass to search for specific content. And then our best friend, we have the settings cog down here. Then in the middle, we have our sorting options and we can sort our files by name, by date, by size and by kind. So that's different file types like PDFs, URLs, that kind of thing. We can flip between these options from being sorting options to filter options with this button on the right. And we'll cover that shortly when we have some more content in here to view. Then up here in the top right, there is a plus sign and we can manually add in content with this. We can add a new sketch with our Apple Pencil. We can add files from the files picker. We can add photo from the photo library and we can also scan documents as well. So let's start by looking at the most common ways we can start filling up any buffer with content. So we're gonna start by adding content that we've pasted to the clipboard. So I'm going to another application. Let's look at photos. There we are. Now I'm gonna right click on this image here. I am of course using a mouse here, but you'll do the same just by long pressing on the image. And then I'll select copy. And that's the image now on my clipboard. So I'll just swipe up from the bottom to go to my app picker. I'll select any buffer. And now in the top left hand corner, we have a paste button that is available for selection. So I'll click that. And the image file is pasted into my inbox, which is now parked for use in another application later on as and when I need it. If we don't want to manually paste content in, we can have it pasted automatically. I'll go down to settings. And the top two toggles are what enables this. So the top one, app, will automatically paste any clipboard content when you open the application or make it active on screen. And the bottom one does the same, but it does it with the Today widget. And we will enable the Today widget soon. Let's flip these on and we'll go and test the app one out. So I'm gonna exit out and go back into photos. And this time let's copy this image that I created for my Pixo tip video, which is my gecko shedding on the left, as well as John Goodman in one of my favorite films ever on the right. I'll bring up the app picker, open any buffer. And as soon as the app is on screen, the content of the clipboard is pasted. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up-to-date tutorials each week as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member.